My videos are mostly about the people that work in front of and behind these historic movie cameras. Almost all actors know that they're really playing to the camera, and the good ones develop a love affair with movie cameras. In the silent era, people knew they had made it to the big time if they were working with a Bell and Howell 2709. Now one has to remember that in the very beginning there were only cameras and no motion picture industry at all. Motion picture cameras were the offshoot of the still camera area. The motion picture industry started with the idea that one could take a series of still pictures on a strip of film and then show them back quickly in sequence to create the illusion of motion. The first movie cameras were made from wood and advanced slowly until the breakout star all aluminum Bell and Howell 2709 was created in 1912. Once in a great while, an astounding movie camera comes to light. This is one of those times. This is Mary Pickford's Bell and Howell 2709 serial number 230. This camera is two years shy of being a hundred years old. In his day, it was the Rolls Royce of movie cameras. Mary purchased this camera on February 27th, 1918, and made most of her movies for the rest of her career with it. No other camera can be directly attributed to making Mary Pickford movies. She was 25 years old when she bought this camera, Two years before she bought it, she was already earning $10,000 a week, had her own production company, and over 150 screen credits to her name. Mary became the most powerful woman Hollywood has ever known. In 1930, Mary won the second Oscar ever given for Best Actress. She was given an honorary Oscar in 1976 for her unique contributions to the film industry. The first official signature in the cement forecourt of Grauman's Chinese Theater was Mary's. Because of her movie fame, Mary became the best known woman in human history. She was the very first world movie star. Her movies were shown in every country that had a movie projector. Her popularity was unprecedented. Now, Mary wasn't just a movie star. Her charity work continues today. She was one of the 36 original founders of the Motion Picture Academy, and she co-founded the Motion Picture Relief Fund and served as its first vice president. She also started the Mary Pickford Foundation, which has given millions of dollars in grants and scholarship and is still in operation today. Mary Pickford married Douglas Fairbanks in 1920. Their story is beyond the grandest fairy tale. They were the two top movie stars of their time. While on their honeymoon in London, they were confronted daily by thousands of fans that caused a near riot everywhere they went. She and Douglas Fairbanks built their own motion picture studio right after founding United Artists in partnership with Charlie Chaplin and D.W. Griffith. Mary went on to make 29 more movies after purchasing Bell and Howell number 230. To sum it up, Mary Pickford's Bell and Howell is one of the most important cameras in the history of motion pictures. Her camera is in wonderful condition, has been scratch tested, and will shoot today.